Hello YouTube and welcome to What The Math. Today I'm taking a look at Universe Sandbox version 2. This is actually still in alpha, so it's not officially out, but I wanted to take a look at it and compare it to the recently reviewed um, Universe Sandbox 1 that I took a look at. And that game was available um, as a final version, and it was actually much cheaper than Universe Sandbox 2, but this will be a much, much better simulator of the universe. It has actually has some really nice features that has been, have been added to this game, and I'm going to show you some of them. Um, let's just go to them one by one. So there's a home button right here that gives you a whole selection of really cool things. So there's things like activities, for example, there is, look at that, there's a, um, you can actually now um, examine, oh, go away, climb, go away, yes, I know. Yes, good. Examine climate on our planet. So here, as you progress through years, you can see it's gonna be snow going away. And then this is summertime. Then snow is gonna come back in a second. It's going to be there you go, coming back again winter time so there's a climate simulation which is actually pretty awesome we didn't have that before um there is also other things like phases of the moon you can look at the moon where's 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 the moon there it is there we go there we go look at the moon zoom in okay phases of the moon there we go so different phase of the moon uh, simulated very nicely as well. Um, there is a few other pretty awesome things. Uh, a lot of different things. I'm not going to go through all of them in detail, but um, one things one thing that I really liked here is there is something uh, that simulates collisions. So for example, uh, galaxy collisions or bombardment of the moon. That actually looks pretty awesome. I'm going to show it to you. This is what bombardment of the moon looks like. This is the moon pre-bombardment, and you're about to see the moon after it has been bombarded by tons of different rocks now and the coolest thing here is that as they as it's been uh, bombarded by these different uh, meteorites and asteroids uh, it actually look at the temperature the temperature increases the moon changes color and it even increases the luminosity at some point so it becomes more bright so this is pretty amazing look at the effects here it's actually pretty realistic too uh, so this is how the craters on the moon were formed, and uh, as the as, it, as the objects collide with it, some objects actually here, right, right here, they actually bounce off, and you can even check them out personally. You can actually take a look at this, zoom in on this object, and look at that rock. And so you can see the temperature of this rock is 2,000 something degrees, and its velocity is here. Uh, this is how old it is; it's only 40 minutes old. And you can actually, uh, you know, you can follow it until it collapses with the moon again. So this is a pretty awesome addition to this game. Uh, let's just take a look at the galaxy collision as well because it's actually pretty awesome. So this is two galaxies, very very accurate simulated galaxies and uh, we'll see what happens here. So this is actually what's going to happen to our galaxy pretty soon, uh, not pretty soon but eventually. Well, it's going to uh, collide with uh, its closest neighbor Andromeda and this is maybe what possibly will happen. They will go, they will hug each other just like this and you can actually you can actually even zoom in look at look at all of these super cool particle effects and there you go and they're going to merge oh no too, too far you're going to merge and then something will fly out some things will not and eventually they will turn into this big cloud that will possibly combine into one big super galaxy or just a fly a bigger galaxy than before uh, or possibly this will happen where basically everything just flies away uh, so this is a pretty awesome simulator. There's a lot of different topics topics you can talk about here. A lot of different inquiry based activities. Uh, there's quite a lot of new things that have been added. These are all activities you can basically choose. Uh, they are pre-made already, so you can investigate these in in separate classes. Uh, there's different collisions you can look at. For example, Earth and um, one of the uh, planetoids. So for example, let's just say Earth and Eris, which is one of the planetoids from the oh okay that was fast <laughs> from the. Uh, uh, from the asteroid belt. Oh my God! Look at that! It's scary. This is this is the end of the world right here, as we know it. All right. This is the Earth fragment just fell on the bottom too, and you can see the temperature of the Earth increased to 5,000 degrees. Uh, nothing can possibly survive this. You can have some discussion about this, but I really like how they implemented all these changes. So this pretty awesome changes that you can implement yourself as well. Uh, galaxy simulators, of course. Uh, universe simulators. Uh, there's also charts, of course, that you can use to compare uh, different planets, different um, sizes. So, for example, if we look at our solar system, 
So here you can actually take a look at our solar system and, and it's it, you can even choose the massive uh, version of it where not only do you see planets, but you see all of the moons of those planets, all of the smaller objects and all of the planetoids uh, orbiting around our sun. So this is actually all of the objects we found to date, uh, basically up to date, up to 2014. And some, you can see the year here actually when they were discovered in 2010, 2007. And uh, you can, if you look around, you can find Pluto, you can find Eris, you can find all other planetoids. And the coolest thing here is that you can of course change the settings of every single object. So like, let's just look for example at the sun. This is a beautiful sun, it's a little bit too bright, so I'm gonna move away, move away from it. And if you click on edit, here you can essentially change whatever you want. So you, if you wanna change density, you can. If you wanna change uh, its temperature, you can. I'm just gonna play around with the mass and increase my mass to, let's just say, oh, I don't know, um... Let's just say, let's make it 5, no, let's make it 10 times the mass that it currently has. It's gonna be 10 times as massive. And let's just see what happens, you know, for fun. All right, so, <laughs> all right, yeah, that uh, that happens. It basically went supernova, and the sun became supernova. So if our sun were ten times as massive, it would just explode. And this is a cool thing here. You can actually um, create these various effects in this game now. So <laughs> supernova is one of them. I actually did not expect this to happen so soon. Uh, let me just show you what what um, what I mean by creating effects. So let's go back to the solar system here, but this time I'm going to take a look at our planet Earth. So I'm going to zoom in on Earth, and you'll see that it's, it's, uh, it's going to zoom in on it, and we'll see it right here. It's spinning really fast, so I'm going to maybe possibly slow this down a little bit. Alright, that's good enough, so this is slow enough. Now what we can actually do with this is we can now edit our planet not just like this, uh, well, first of all, you can obviously change things here, you can even change climate, you can change materials it consists of, so I can actually change our planet from being mostly silicate to mostly iron and water, and then observe the effects of this. So, for example, let's just say our, suddenly our planet acquires so much iron that it's just crazy iron planet. And I'm gonna decrease this again. Alright, and if you look at the values here, um, Okay, I actually changed it too fast, it, it already changed the values. But what I was trying to show you is that it's, its density will actually start changing as well. Its density and will change, there you go, you can see the density has changed a little bit. So its density will change and its size will change as well, it actually will start losing radius and it will start condensing on itself. Now, instead of that, instead of, oh and temperature will actually change as well, so instead of this, let's just imagine that our planet will suddenly acquire all this crazy amount of hydrogen. So I'm gonna get get it back to its original uh, Thinimagic uh, value, and now I'm going to actually add uh, um, hydrogen as extra. So uh, it suddenly starts getting hydrogen from somewhere. I don't know. Maybe there's a, a gas giant that passes by and starts throwing it, uh, hydrogen its way. So this is what's gonna happen. Well, before I do this, I was going to show you the chart that you can actually use now. And this was, this was available in the previous version too, but now it's a lot better. So this chart compares sizes of all of the solar bodies, or any body, any bodies in any system. And you can actually, here, I'm going to scroll down to the smallest one. There we go. Smallest ones that we know about. And you can explore each one of them individually, and you can go all the way to the planetoids and then all the way back to our planets and you can click on each planet and look at its size and its um, various values, uh, various cool effects that you can see here and so on and so forth. But let's just not do chart yet because we've done this in the previous video. Uh, we are going to do, we're gonna sh I'm going to show you the new cool feature that this game has. Alright, so here I am zoomed in back on Earth and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use something called powers. And you can actually use this or that, but uh, this is a little bit more fun. This button just adds specific um, bodies or specific objects to uh, your particular object. So you can, for example, add um, a new moon to your uh, to your star, and, or uh, you can add a new moon to Earth. But I'm going to be using the powers. And the powers here are essentially uh, a really, really cool feature where you can actually... You, well, first of all, you can use different forces and apply it on, on different objects. So, for example, here, I just applied some force here, and it, what? 
and because I applied force, my orbit suddenly changed. So basically, I pushed Earth out of its orbit into like the abyss. So I think it's actually going to be escaping. No, 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 actually, no, it's staying on the orbit, but the orbit now is a lot more funky than before. And that's not exactly what I wanted to do, but you can do that now. Uh, there's also something called bo Body Factory, which basically generates different um, objects. So, for example, I can generate, I'll just uh, generate uh, a Moon Titan right next to here. And okay, that happened. Uh, <laughs> I didn't really want to do this, but it just happened. It smacked into my, my home planet. And there's a big hole somewhere in here because Titan has just officially collapsed with Earth. And Earth is just a little bit heavier now. It's actually a little bit heavier because I accidentally collapsed uh, Titan on it. Uh, but the cool thing, the really awesome thing is this dispenser. This dispenser button lets you choose different materials that you want to add to your object. So I'm going to turn my our planet into a gas giant. So let's just add... Um, actually, first let's start with water. Let's add some water. Sprinkle some water on top. It, it usually game slows down because there's a lot of effects involved. But you can see the radius has already started increasing. Um, the mass started increasing right here. And so on and so forth. And I'm going to be adding water until there's just water, nothing else. Just water. Just the water giant. For now at least. So just the water giant, there's nothing, no land left. All the land is gone. So this is a water giant. You can keep doing this of course. But now I want to add something else. I want to add hydrogen. Oh no, there's still some. There's some Africa left there, or South America, but that's because it's mountains. Uh, all right, so this is basically a big flood here. Now let's add nothing but hydrogen. I'm going to turn this planet into a gas giant. So I'm going to start adding only hydrogen, and you'll see that the mass is increasing dramatically as well. So radius is increasing a lot faster. Because there's suddenly a lot more gas. And there you go. It's now officially a gas giant. Type is gas giant. There's no more visible um, ground. It's just a big blurry looking thing. And look at the radius. Radius started increasing dramatically. So we're now officially becoming... And you can still see the outline of the uh, continents. But we are officially becoming a gas giant. Similar to planets like Saturn and Jupiter. And this is a really awesome, awesome new feature. Like this is... We never had this before. This is actually pretty cool. So I'm just going to keep doing this and show you what you can do with uh, how far you can go with this. So here, I'm going to keep adding this. And you can see as I keep adding more material, uh, both the radius and the mass keeps going up. Uh, the temperature is also kind of increasing, or actually it's fluctuating, but it sort of is going up slowly because I'm acquiring more material. And my density is going down because my planet is actually now growing larger because of all the gas that it's... Uh, acquired. So this is actually how possibly gas giants were formed as well. Uh, all the uh, extra hydrogen. So basically you can simulate the formation of gas giants and show it to your students and you know investigate all these various effects. But uh, essentially this is what probably happened. A lot of uh, hydrogen was kind of acquired from outer space and uh, planets like Saturn and Jupiter um, grew. They actually grew into their massive object that they are right now. Because they, they do have a solid core, just like our planet, and from what we understand, it's possibly the size of... Approximately the size of Earth, possibly a little bit smaller. Uh, but around the solid core, it has a bunch of hydrogen. Alright, so now I'm at 3% of Jupiter size, and I'm just gonna keep adding hydrogen. I'm just gonna keep adding hydrogen. I don't know why it will look so brown, I actually didn't expect a brown color like this. I want a different color, but that's okay. Alright, so this will actually grow a lot more dramatically faster now because I made uh, my particles a lot bigger and a lot more massive. So we're going to acquire a lot of mass a lot quicker. Um, and the thing is, as I acquire mass, I obviously acquire more gravity as well. And so if there is anything around me, so for example, if I was to do this with Jupiter, it would start, um, its, its satellites would start acting really funny and eventually smacking into its surface because the gravity would be too strong for all the satellites to keep orbiting and it would eventually lose all its satellites. I'm actually going to make another video where I do this, uh, where I explore that kind of effect in the next video. But for now, we're just going to do this with Earth. And we've officially made uh, basically the biggest gas giant in the solar system. This is even bigger, at least more massive than uh, Jupiter. And I'm going to show you the chart, what it looks like compared to everything else. There you go. This is our beautiful Earth. This is Jupiter. 
and this is the sun so it's actually getting there it's getting pretty close to the sun and this is what you can actually investigate you can actually turn your planet eventually you can turn it into a star which is where I'm, I'm actually going with this I'm gonna try to make it into a star and right now we have a gas giant that's about 13 times as massive as Jupiter and its temperature is actually getting hotter and hotter so it's slowly becoming a star I'm gonna keep increasing its mass until you see the difference it's actually going to acquire some color as it starts illuminating and slowly transforms into a beautiful beautiful um, type M star so I'm just gonna keep adding some mass to it you can already see it's transforming sort of turning a little bit more bright um, temperature is already at 360 degrees um, that's the temperature on the surface at least we don't even know what's inside and turn it even more yellowy orange uh, it's currently at 42 um, times the mass of Jupiter I'm gonna take it to 50 times and let's see what happens then at 50 times Jupiter you already can see kind of a glow around the planet and this is when we're starting to acquire the nuclear reaction on the inside of the planet so because of the mass uh, the pressure is so so high on the inside that it eventually starts creating its own nuclear reactor based on hydrogen so here we go we're so close to being a star getting a glow getting a glow getting brighter getting brighter before i get to the star part let's just compare this to other bodies but you can see uh, size wise it's not actually bigger than jupiter uh, it's still kind of um, actually no it started shrinking now because of the gravity it started being pulled inside its own uh, its own center so it will now increase its density and decrease its own radius so with time it will actually be even slower than this because of the gravity but unfortunately it won't actually happen because we're gonna make it into a star before that it is going to turn into a star in any second now we're now at 1200 degrees and you can actually try to observe this see how, what temperature you need to actually um, what temperature and pressure you need to actually start a nuclear reaction but we're almost there you can see the this is the American continent this is where New York used to be a long time ago before I started this experiment and it's it's almost it's almost a yellow start and any second now any second is going to it, you can see it started growing again because this is what happens when it acquires more hydrogens the nuclear reaction is on the inside start spreading its um basically start creates so much um outward pressure that it starts growing again and this is there we go and now we became earth the star so we lost our outer shell and now we're a star and you can actually keep going so if you really really wanted to i'm gonna make this into 50 and i'm just gonna keep increasing the mass of this beautiful creature until 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 it turns into something else and there you go i just i just made it a, just a little bit bigger than the sun and the thing is it turned into a nova it went supernova again because i didn't anticipate its size differences so now we have an earth supernova within our solar system that's basically going to cover everything so this is a pretty awesome way of simulating different various um, earth science and physics um, phenomena using this video game it's it, it, the version 2.0 it's so much better than version 1.0 uh, adds so many more different effects the only downside to this is that you need a pretty powerful computer to run all this but other than that it's actually a much better more improved version all right so that's it for for what i wanted to show you in the next video i might show you specific things you can do in here but you know since i destroyed earth might as well stop here hey thank you for watching please subscribe and good luck to you bye bye